I wanted to give you a quick overview of the reader response assignment for this week. Um, before you even start the assignment, first thing you got to do is you know, make sure that you hit file. And then if you're going to work in Microsoft PowerPoint, you're going to hit my, uh, download as Microsoft PowerPoint. Or if you're going to work in um, Google Slides, you're going to make a copy of the entire presentation. So for this assignment, I really want to see where you are as a reader. So I want you to think about this question here. And I have it on the screen in the directions. And it says, how do you properly analyze a story to ensure you understand it completely? And you have to know the right questions to ask. So if you remember, in, on the previous, uh, previous, mo previous module on, uh, and in that quiz, we um, briefly started talking about the reading process. And you're going to be expected to apply that as you read a story. So now we're going to review how to analyze a text. So as you read the following story, you will come across a variety of analytical questions. And these questions will be very similar to the same questions you're going to see throughout the entire year. So this is really going to get you prepared for that expectation of the classroom. Um, it, it's also going to let me know where you are as a reader with how you respond to these questions. So I'm going to see um, maybe you have a tr trouble identifying a uh, piece of figurative language. Maybe you have trouble identifying the seti setting. So we'll, we'll really um, uh, this will really help me get a good understanding of where you are as well. Um, so we both get to understand each other a little bit better. Um, Big hint here, you will see the standard study guide often in this course. If you click on this link right here, it's going to take you to a literary text study guide. On it, you're going to see questions that you should be asking yourself as you are reading. Um, for, for example, can you summarize the events of the story? Can you identify the main problem the main character is facing? Um, can you identify the type of conflict? Is it uh, uh, person versus person, or maybe person versus society? Um, and then you'll, you'll dig deeper and you'll have to ask those questions about character, author's choices, etc. So save that because you're going to see that format on quizzes. It's going to be very familiar. It's going to be very parallel to what you see on a study guide. Um, so make sure you think carefully and respond fully as you're completing these questions. Now, today I've chosen for you a children's story by Oscar Wilde called The Selfish Giant. So it's not particularly difficult because right now I'm just seeing can you answer these types of questions. Texts obviously are going to be more complicated as we go throughout the year, but this will kind of help you identify, oh, this is where I should ask myself, what is the setting? Um, as you go through, like, okay, now I should be able to, like, identify the main character's personality or, like, what is the basic situation in the story. So, as you're doing this assignment, you will be writing on these slides. You'll answer in these text boxes. Don't worry. They will, the, te the boxes will grow as you type. So, I, I, I know, I, I'm a going to expect that they're probably going to, the formatting will be a little different as you answer each question, but it'll be fine. Um, so you'll go through, you'll consider like the author's word choices. You're going to identify how the mood and tone have shifted throughout the story. And um, you'll have to find an example personification and po analyze point of view. Um, the end of the story is incredibly symbolic, so you'll have to, like, identify the symbolism. What does it represent? Um, and then finally, the last two slides, you're going to have to answer questions about theme and author's purpose. So you will have to answer questions on slides 3 through 11. If you have questions as you are completing this assignment, please don't hesitate to reach out. That is the whole reason why I am here. I'm here to help guide you and help teach you. So if you're, you're, if you're struggling with this first assignment alone, now's a good time to, to get that clarification and um, 
ask those questions because it, it's just going to, we're just going to progress quicker as we go throughout the semester. And I want to make sure I'm addressing those issues now so that way you have a richer experience in Brit Lit. All right. Thank you so much. And I look forward to reading your responses.